Hello and welcome to At Your Service. My name is David Hawksworth and today I'm in the Community and Development Services Department with Margie Clem, who's the Deputy Director. Margie, welcome. Thank you for having me. We're here to talk about the new uh, licensing and permitting portal that we have. Uh, what was the rationale behind setting this up? So we've been on an online permitting portal for a number of years and so we were having some problems with um, just our application process, making it so that our applicants, our citizens and contractors had a very easy way to tell us what we needed to know so that we could approve their permits. So we looked for a new provider and it just happened that we found one that also did our website conversion and so it just made sense to stay in that same lane um, with our website. Yeah. Yeah, it, uh, it integrates very nicely, I think. Yeah. Um, so what are the benefits to people who are applying uh, sure. for these things? So um, as a citizen or as a contractor, we really wanted to create one spot for you to go um, that has a really visual harmony between the two systems, so whether that's on the website or our advanced form site. So if you are a citizen out there that wants to apply for a special event permit or a building permit for a sh new shed, or maybe you want to report a concern that's out in the community that you've seen, it's all under one site so you don't have to go um, and have different logins for all the different um, pieces of the puzzle. Okay. All right. Um, so if you're going to apply for a permit or license or if you are going to do some work around your house or maybe start a business. Um, what would be a good first step for people? Sure. So all of our online forms have good before you begin text that'll tell you all those pieces. Um, so you just go to our advanced form site. Um, it's salina.govbuilt.com. And on that page, it'll give you right to your link. So whether it's a special event permit, uh, a building permit, your contractor licensing, um, arts and humanities forms, or even report a concern out in the community, there's all little buttons right there that you can click to and it'll take you right to the spot that you need. Uh, we need to create a free account though, don't we? Yes, yes, you can create a free account and that'll be the account for all of them. Um, over when you try to apply for your first permit or um, concern, it'll actually take you right to that login page. It's very simple. Um, you just put in your username, create a password, and it'll create that account for you. And it's handy because you can take a look at all the different permits and licenses that are uh, in there um, so that even before you start thinking about doing work at your home or something like that, um, you'll be able to see the kinds of permits that are available and, and that you need to get started. Yep. So once you apply for the permit uh, and get uh, the form all filled out, there's even a way to pay for it online, correct? Yes. So depending on what type of permit or license that you're applying for, it might have an application fee due right at that time. And sometimes they don't, and they're just due at the issuance of a permit. Um, but once you're ready to pay, you can do all of that online. Uh, we still welcome you if you want to come in and pay in person. Still um, allowed to do that. Please come on in um, to our office and do that. But you can pay online just from the comfort of whatever time of day or um, from whatever device you're working on. Once you submit your application, uh, you'll be able to check on the status of it as well. Yes, um, so there'll be a tracker up at the top of your screen when you're looking at your different cases or licenses. It'll tell you right where it's at in the step. Um, so whether that's that you've submitted the application, whether it's in a staff review, whether it's approved but it's just pending your payment, um, or it's been issued and you can actually schedule your inspections if you have any um, for your building permits. So it'll let you schedule them right online if you'd prefer to do it that way. And you can even have a, a two-way conversation with, uh, with, people, with staff at the city. Yep. So instead of having to send us an email outside of the system or to call us, um, you can go right into that case. There's an opportunity to just provide comments back and forth between, um, just to make it easy and keep it all in one spot for you. Um, what if you don't have a computer at home? We do have a kiosk in our office um, that you are happy to come use with us. We'll have staff able um, to help you. So let's say you have something that you need to attach and you don't have a scanner at home to attach that document. We have a scanner here in the office. We're happy to scan it for you um, and help you attach that uh, to your permit or your license. And there's always, you can always call and, and ask questions too. Yes, of course. Um, so our phone number here in Development Services is 785-309-5715. Happy to ask um, or help you with any questions that you have. Um, we also have an email address that takes you right to our admin team that's helping with this website transition. Um, and that's just web application support at salina.org. And we're happy to answer any questions you have. All right. Well, sounds like a great way of uh, streamlining the whole 
permitting and licensing process. So. Yes, I think it'll be a great fit for the city of Salina. Anything else we should, we should know about this? If you have any questions, feel free to reach out, um, and we're happy to help you with whatever you need. Yep, okay. All right, well, we hope that uh, anytime you think about doing work around your home or starting a business or, or something like that, that uh, you'll get on to the uh, permitting and licensing portal at salina.govbuilt.com and uh, get that taken care of, and it'll be a, a nice, easy process. So, Margie, I really appreciate your time. Thanks a lot. Yeah, no, thank you for having me. And we'll see you next time on At Your Service.